to this Church of St. Mary Magdalene this afternoon, to all of you who have come to support David and Natasha in this, their marriage service. I know they'll greatly value your presence in sharing and celebrating with them this very significant day in both their lives. So over many months now, um, a lot of time and effort and thought has gone into preparing for this moment. And we hope that this will be a day you will always remember, both this service in church and the celebrations to come later on at Hampolo. I, David, take you, Natasha, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, till death do us part, according to God's holy law, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God I make this vow, in the presence of God I make this vow. David, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage, as a sign of our marriage, with my body I honour you, with my body I honour you, all of the time I'm all that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Make us the bride. Finally, to the start of the day, me and Natasha met 413 days ago. I will always remember walking into Lincoln's Inn Fields on a hot summer's afternoon last year to be greeted by Natasha with both a warm smile and a cold bottle of white wine. Some may say 413 days is a short period from having first met to being married, but as I have often been reminded since, when you know, you know, and Natasha, I've known all along.